Hey there, buddy. Heard the good news? Look, I know you're an angel now, Chad Bradley, but I swear to God, if you say one word about Jesus to me, I'm gonna shove this computer right up here. No, not that good news. This good news. In what world is that good news? It's great news. This means more work for us. More chances for Chad Bradley to shine. Still bad news. Also, do we want more dead people? Is that our goal? I've never been clear on what the hell we're actually doing here. Work is calling. la dee da dee da dee da Goodbye, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get lost, Chad Bradley. All right. Let's see what we've got. Oh, God damn it. Hello, I'm Tony Purgatelli. This is Purgatory and you're dead. Tony Purgatelli. I know it's a weird name, plus it sounds kind of like Purgatory, which you think would be convenient, but it's totally not. It's it. you! Oh, Coach Crothers! <laughs> I can't believe it. My all-star high school baseball champ. Look at you. Oh, wow, my old coach! We got a real character history together, you and me! So what are you doing in this stuffy old office afterlife, Tony? You should be in a field of dreams type of place. A baseball heaven! Yeah, well, coach, it turns out you don't really get to pick your afterlife, so you... <laughs> you were so talented, Tony. The best! You could have been anything! You could have been a baseball coach! Well, you know, I mean, I lost that championship, and I missed out on the scholarship, and... Wait, 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 wait hold on! Why is baseball coach at the top of your aspiration list here? Why are you indoors pushing those computer buttons? You should be outdoors pushing a ball really fast with a bat. Look, you know, it's not so bad here, coach. I mean, I got a stable job. I got a computer. I got this uh, filing cabinet. Oh, poor, poor Tony. All that potential, all that promise, all of those baseball years wasted. The fuck's a baseball year? And here you are wasting away at a desk. What a shame! Okay, well, you know, it was nice catching up with you, coach. I mean, look, you you were always a friend and a mentor to me, and I'm supposed to get really in-depth in examining the events of your life, but I'm gonna go ahead and send you to heaven. Tony Office! Fine! You get in now! Oh, hold on a second, Coach Crothers. I'll be right back. This actually happens a lot. Hey, what's up, boss? Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. What are we doing here? You called me in here. No, I mean, what are we doing in purgatory? Back in the day, people's fates weren't decided by stuffy office button pushers. Oh, come on now, that's not nice. People's I mean... fates used to be decided the old-fashioned way. War? No. Uh, gladiator fights. Shut up. Baseball, Tony. Baseball. Back in the baseball years, when men were men, and women had a league of their own. Now, it's funny you mention baseball, because I just got this new client, my old coach. Our stories seem to be intertwining in some contrived way, but now I'm nervous about what you're going to say next. Tony, we're going to have a company baseball game to determine the fate of those 40,000 dead people from the stadium collapse. Oh, jeez, there it is. Narrative synergy. Cold open flowing right into act one. Oh, crap. There's no stars, there's no sun, no time off for anyone. There's no clock on the wall, there's no end to it all. Everyone's on overtime, and there's no overtime. Oh, your book life is weighed on a good band of fighter. Oh, there's much too much to grade for a cynical decider. This is hardly working, this is hardly living, this is my job. I didn't come up with a post theme song line for this one, sorry. Have you ever seen Space Jam, Tony? No. What? Are you kidding me? I'm outside of space and time, and even I've seen it. Anyway, Purgatory is going to put together a baseball team, and I want you to coach it. One game, winner take all, all 40,000 souls. Oh, okay, who's the other team? Uh, hell. Wait, 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 it sounds like you said hell. Look, Tony, I fucked up. I fucked up really bad. I made one of those devil deal things. A deal with the devil? Yeah, that. Oh, God. Satan challenged me to a contest of souls, and I said yes, and then he said, choose the terms, and I said, baseball years, bitch! And, well, I can't back out now. Keep this between us. Oh, this is getting really complicated. You're gonna be facing off against a bunch of monsters, Tony. I mean, demons. Horrific hell beasts. Horns, wings, all of it. Oh, man. If you win, all those souls come to purgatory for judgment. But if you lose... They all go straight to hell! No! Oh! Well, that means Coach Crothers, my mentor! He'll go to hell too! Ha! Ah, there you go, Tony! There's your character motivation! Now get to it! Put on this hat! Here's a whistle. You're a coach now! Alright, who's on my team? Let's see, we got Chair Bradley. Well, he's probably pretty good. 
guy, Samael. Hey, he's big. This guy. We've got that guy. We go oh, no, not Prince Narplebottom. Baseball sounds delicious. Ooh, how do you participate? Which end of the stick goes in my rectum? Ball, oh, God, we're doomed. Wow, Tony, look at you. You're a real baseball coach. Now get your team motivated with a speech. Oh, okay, all right, uh, all right. Uh, listen up, team. You're gonna do great. We're gonna hit. Uh, we're gonna run. We're, we're gonna win the game and decide the fates of uh, tens of thousands of people. Oh, man, this is horrible. The stakes are too high. I can't handle this. I got this, Tony. Team, these are the times that define our afterlives, our baseball years. You're gonna go out there and put your nose to the grindstone, your brains to the ball bat, and switch your arms to swingy catchy mode. Our time is now. And you're the best damn team I could have asked for. Yay! Chad Bradley! I'm motivated now. Good speech, Tony. There are three more balls inside of me, and none are in my mouth. <laughs> oh god, these guys are pretty huge and scary. I don't think we're gonna beat them. Plus, if we don't win, Coach Crothers and everybody else goes to hell. Oh god, oh jeez. I'm sure we can do it, Tony. It's like Space Jam. That means nothing to me. Why does everyone keep referencing that movie? <laughs> you haven't seen Space Jam? It won the Oscar, Tony. Hey, Tony, couldn't help but notice you're down 20 points and it's the seventh inning. If you don't mind a bit of coach-to-coach -coach advice. Oh, yeah, Coach Crothers, that would be great. Be better. Oh. Stop being bad. Right. Tell your team to also stop being bad. Oh, okay. Try to get the other guys to hit the ball less and have your guys circle the bases more. Oh, okay. Well, that's sort of what I was going for, Coach Crothers. But, you know, the other team is made up of, like, eight-foot-tall, fire-breathing hell beasts. So. I believe in you, Tony. But that belief's gonna run out real quick if you lose this game. No pressure or anything. Put me in, coach. I'm ready. No, oh, no, not gonna do that. You're just gonna keep the bench warm, okay? Oh, I'm going to be keeping it wet with all this excitement. Oh, how I wish my family could see me now. My mother, my father, my sister, my nephew, all both of those people. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're inbred. I get it. I get your thing. Tony, watch out! Hello, Tony. Do, uh, who are you? I'm Space Jam. Oh my god, really? Everybody's been referencing you today. It's so great to finally meet you. I, I can't believe you're an actual jar of jam in space. We're inside your imagination. I'm what you think I am. Oh, cool. Your imagination sucks, Tony. Oh. But you can still win the game if you listen to me carefully. I'm listening. It sounds like you're really in a jam. <laughs> I'm being motivational. Shut up for a sec. Oh, I thought you were making a joke. I wasn't. You're in a jam, and I can get you out of it if you heed this advice. You have to cheat. Wait, wait, what? You have to cheat at the game, just like the Monstars did against Bugs Bunny in the movie. You need Bill Murray, too. I'm not sure how my imagination has seen a movie I haven't seen, but I, I think you're right. I, I think I can win this game if I cheat. Whoop, there it is. Now get out there and jam, Tony. Cheat, Bill Murray. Wakey wakey, Tony. Look at the scoreboard. After you got knocked out, I took your hat and your whistle and said all of the things you were meant to say to the team. You're doing it, champ. You're coaching a winning team. Oh, uh, thanks for... Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 Tony. Like this. That's nice one, Tony. This is all you, bud. Great job. Great catch, sport! You did it! You... You! You threw the baseball! You knocked me out and took over for me! That's what you always did! You never believed in me! I was never good at baseball! <laughs> of course you weren't, Tony! You were terrible! But I needed to win, so I made you a champion by being a better you than you could ever be. Those weren't even my flashbacks, were they? They were yours! You can't have flashbacks, Slugger, on account of how many times I beamed you in the head. That part of your brain is dead, Tony. Th then what happened to my scholarship? You built me up for all those years and I still didn't get it! But you did. Well, 
I did, as you. I accepted the scholarship since it was rightfully mine and went to college under your name. Full ride! Oh, God, my life is a lie! I also lost your virginity for you, Tony, to your girlfriend. It's just like Space Jam. Oh, my God, she was 16! You're a monster, Coach Carruthers! A monster! Look, Tony, you're not good at baseball or sex or anything. So old Coach Carruthers had to help you out a little by injuring your brain and assuming your identity over and over. And, if you don't mind, I'm gonna help you out one more time so we can win this game and you can send old Coach Carruthers to heaven. Time out, Coach Carruthers! Oh? A giant skeleton said I'm the coach of this team of weirdos, so I'm calling the shots! Hey, Prince! Yes? Tony, what are you doing? That guy's worse at baseball than you are at having sex with my 16-year-old girlfriend! Hey, uh, Prince Narplebottom or whatever? Play ball! Oh, fuck me, it's just like Space Jam! Iraq! One! Oh, that one was fast! It's hard to hold this ball stick with my webbed butt cheeks! Iraq! Two! Ow, I think that one tore the supple flesh right off my backside! Oh, am I facing the right direction? Iraq! Three! He's out! Oh, that was exhilarating! My breeches are soiled with excitement and organs. And that's the game! Hell win! Hell win! Tony, maybe you'll want to step in for your old coach on this one. At least knock me out! Way to go, Tony! You really settled that personal grudge at the expense of 40,000 innocent souls! Half of them were children, but at least you resolved some backstory. Oh, right, children. I guess I really sent a lot of kids to hell there. Oh man, death is gonna be pissed. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm probably free and clear of any responsibility, so... Later, Gators. Tony! Get in here! Mind explaining yourself? Huh? Uh, don't act so surprised, Tony. I'm a hundred feet tall, of course it's huge. Take a picture, why don't you? Anyway, you really screwed the pooch out there, Tony. 40,000 souls down the gutter. Yeah, but like, the whole thing was your idea. I mean, you picked me as the coach and put the team together? I feel like this one's on you. You're right. Maybe I am partly to blame. Or completely, I don't know. I mean, you gambled away 40,000 souls. Yep, partly to blame. You know, I learned something today, Tony. Maybe baseball and business shouldn't mix. I could have told you that back at the beginning. I mean, I feel like nothing was accomplished here, you know? Nobody's story was advanced, nothing really made any sense. If I was binge-watching this, I could probably just skip the whole thing with no consequences. Life is kind of like baseball, Tony. No, baseball's not a metaphor Life for everything. Life is kind of like a game of football. No, no it, it, just because you change sports doesn't Have mean... you ever seen Little Giants, Tony? No. Remember the Titans? No. Angels in the Outfield? No. Mighty Ducks? Rudy? The Sandlot? Caddyshack? No! Yeah, you're breaking my bones, Tony. Whatever, get back to work. What about Airbud? You seen Airbud? No! Okay, that's my next plan. Meet me at Dog Heaven in 10 minutes. We're doing this. Ha <laughs> ha! What a great episode. Chad Bradley here. Be sure to tell all of your friends about Purgatory so they can watch it. You do have friends, don't you? I've got lots of friends with benefits. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotta go. Bye bye. Mwah. <laughs>